He's a great young driver. Marshall on the second row of the grid alongside Dears McTaggart. Then Scott Ritchie, Gavin Hurring. Racing set to get underway. Heat number one of production saloons here. Easter champs. So Gillies leads him down to turns one and two. Marshall with a big look up the inside. He's being attacked at the moment by Scott Ritchie from Greymouth. That very, very quick uh, Toyota Celica. Picked himself up a number of race wins this season. Owens there as well in car number six as Gillies goes through. Then Eddie Franz. Car 11, McTaggart. It's Dears McTaggart behind the wheel of that car. Scott Ritchie goes through. He's up to fourth place at the moment. In fact, the yellow is out. McFraser down there manages to get away again. Car number 99. Stops in turn number one. So we'll go back to a, a restart in this one here. Good start there by Gillies to get to the front of this one here. So uh, full good restart by the looks of it. Fraser goes to the infield. Of course, they'll run a 15-lap feature final right before the final of the Hydraulic War of the Wings a little bit later on. So once again, watch for Scott Ritchie, car number 43 from Greymouth. He's starting on the third row of the grid. He's sort of ducking and weaving early in this one here, looking for a, uh, a bit of a gap when we go green. Laura Heads there, car number 64, her Riverside club mate behind her in the form of Dave McKenzie. Liam Ballantyne there, car number 27. He was impressive last meeting here at Central Motor Speedway. He got himself a uh, solid second placing in one of the heats here, led for the majority of the race. Certainly would have given him a heap of confidence. That's what it's all about this game sometimes, is just getting that confidence to put your car where it needs to be. So we go green once more. This time, it's Franz working his way around the outside of Liam Gillies. Little bit of contact down the back straight between them. Neither car wanted to uh, give an inch there. But Franz leads this one here. Car number 51 out of Nelson Speedway. Gillies in second place. Then we go back to car number 11, which is Dears McTaggart. McTaggart, he gets tagged by Richie from Greymouth. So uh, I imagine the, uh, the officials will have a, a closer look at that one there. That's a battle for third and fourth place. Marshall trying to find a way around the outside of Haring. Aaron Brooklyn, he's right there as well. Car number 33. Then we go back to Jack Taylor. Bennett there in car number 66, Vaughan Fairbairn in car 17, great looking car, oh there's a tangle up down there between Bennett and Taylor, Fairburn, uh, he was involved in that as well, even though he was just a, a passenger with nowhere to go, so Taylor parks the 43 down on the inside of turn 2, will it be deemed far enough off the track or will it cause a yellow? Any pressure at the moment on Eddie Franz, car number 51, being chased hard by Liam Gillies. Richie there as well, of course, he's got that question mark on him with that contact a little bit earlier on with McTaggart. McTaggart in a battle with Marshall. Then we go back to Herring. Here goes Gillies with a move around the outside of Eddie Franz, and he gets the job done. So the young lad from Beachland Speedway makes a move on Eddie Franz. So Liam Gillies around turn three and four. Through he goes. Leads this race. Franz in second, then we go back to Richie. Richie trying to find a way through. Then McTaggart, Marshall, hurrying. The second of the Marshalls out there as well. Car number 97, that's Clay Marshall. Caleb Marshall in the 88. Identical twins, very, very easy to confuse them. Totally different looking cars though. Daniel Rolton, he's out there as well in car number 95. He's trying to push himself up the order. He's in a battle with Marshall at the moment. McTaggart behind him and Fairburn there also. 
So Yellow out once more. Of course, that's uh, one of the Woods cars, the 804, I think it is, parked up on the back straight. So we will see another restart. And this one, just looking through the uh, the order of cars, folks, of course, uh, looks like uh, all these cars may all be out together. Of course, the uh, the memo that come through, they were going to be broken into three groups. So uh, it looks like they're all out on track at the same time. Maybe enough car not enough cars to do that. So uh, never got that memo, folks. So it looks like they're all out there. Probably a good chance, of course, to uh, get rid of car number 43. I would imagine as well, which looks like the RVC safety car is going to do. Big thanks to uh, Mr. Whippy as well. Just had a Mr. Whippy uh, with a bit of a chocolate flake delivered to the control tower up here. Very, very much, uh, yeah, much appreciated. So Jack Taylor parks up on the infield. Fraser there as well. Looks like Aaron Brooklyn on the infield, and of course the uh, the 804 machine of James Wood also on the infield. They will be spectators for the rest of this race. Great to see a, a number of travelling cars come here to Central Motor Speedway for this Easter weekend meeting. Of course, Easter champs today, King of Cromwell on Sunday. Yellow flag's still out at the moment. They're just trying to sort this order. So it's Liam Gillies from Beachland Speedway who leads this one here. Eddie Franz in second place. Scott Ritchie in third, car number 43. Then Dears McTaggart in the 11. 88 of Caleb Marshall next in the queue. Then hurrying behind him, the 97 of Caleb Marshall. Then Daniel Rolton, Brad McTaggart, Vaughan Fairburn. Leo Bennett, car number 66. He just pops up a spot ahead of Dave McKenzie. We go green. And everyone's been caught napping apart from Liam Gillies. He got on the loud pedal. Eddie Franz, he was caught napping. Richie's right there. So is Marshall trying to find a way through. Gavin Haring, a little bit of Morse code on the back of McTaggart's 11 machine. Car number 97, Clay Marshall trying to find a way around Haring, but Haring's holding him high and wide which is allowing Daniel Rolton to have a big look on the inside, car number 95. Looks like uh, Brad McTaggart, the 86 car, he's had a bit of a, uh, a punch on the front end, so he's hit something from behind. Eddie Franz just getting a bit of a helping hand. You can see the uh, the left rear wheel of Franz's car barely touching the ground. It's lifting all over the place at the moment. Obviously no weight at all on that left rear corner. Less than a lap to go though for your race leader, Liam Gillies from Beachland Speedway. He'll take this one here out. A patient race from Gillies, gets him home. Richie with a big look down the inside of Franz. Can't get it done, Franz gets home in second place. Ahead of car number 43, Scott Ritchie. I'd imagine they may look at that and we may see Marshall climb up a spot will leave that with that uh, with Speedway New Zealand. But uh, that is heat number one. Easter Champs here for production saloons done and dusted. Coming up next on track, we're going to see Group A and Group B, the Hydrolink War of the Wings Sprint Car Series Grand Final coming up next. <laughs> 